you in the dungeon palace, boy. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is your boy DZD, aka the Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, and I'm just coming to you with a nice little NPC tip. Um, this tip is going to involve you guys that use Wave plugins. As you guys know, um, you have a bit of an issue with using the Wave plugins in the NPC software. They appear in other software, but for some reason, the NPC software, the coding, and everything does not match the Wave plugins. So you have a bit of a problem with installing it, and sometimes even pulling them up in the software. So I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Um, we're not gonna use any music for this for this uh, quick tutorial. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. Um, so I'm gonna go to my, my inserts and I'm gonna go down to my Waves folder here and I'm gonna just pick a random plugin. Let's pick the CLA 2A. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna put the plugin on the, on the insert and then when I click on it, it's gonna give me the GUI. Sometimes this may be a black screen to start out to where you can't see the GUI at all or you may have to close it and then open it up again and then you're going to see a black screen. You won't be able to get the GUI back unless you reinstall the plug, not not reinstall, but just uh, take the plugin off. You know, like maybe put another one on and then you can go back and then put it on again. Right? and then it'll give you the GUI again. But then when you close it, you'll have the same problem when you try and open it again, it'll be a black screen. So this essentially happens with the Wave plugins. Um, it's real annoying and to be honest with you, I don't know why MPC doesn't get on that, why Kai doesn't get on that and get with the guys from Waves and fix this issue. You know, they should because Waves is a very known uh, plugin bundle that a lot of people use and they pay good money for. I know I did, so you know, um, but I'm going to show you a little workaround. Let's take this off. Well, let's leave it on. Let's leave it on because I want you to see exactly what happens. Okay, so check this out. If you use this plugin here, it's made by a company called Blue Cat Audio and it's called Blue Cat Patchwork. And this is what the plugin looks like. This is it here. It's a, it's a nice little plugin. You know, it has columns and rows and we're gonna put the, the columns are here and then your rows go across here so what this plugin does is essentially it gives your NPC software somewhere to look first before it actually looks for the wave plugin so this plugin allows you to put plugins on top of this plugin inside of this plugin and then you can pull them up from inside of this plugin so I'll show you what I'm talking about we can't pull this CLA 2A up right here, the one that we have directly on the NPC track. We can't pull that up again. But then we, we can go inside of Patchwork, and then we can go here. You can put it on pre or post. I usually put it on post. But you go in here and you click the first slot. It's just like clicking these insert slots where you want to load a plugin. See how it says no plugin? We want to put one there. So you can go to your VSTs, and then you can go to load VST3 because that's my Waves. Then I'm going to pick my Waves folder here. Wherever your Waves shell folder is located, you just pick that and it's going to pull up this box here and see if you notice you have all of your plugins in there. All of your different Waves plugins is going to pull up. So now you're able to choose the plugin from here and you can pull it up. So let's pull it up. Let's pull up our CLA 2A again. There it is. And then you hit OK. It's going to load the plugin and then you have it here. And it's basically running inside of this plugin right here and you can close out of it and then you can hit the uh the box here and it's going to display the gui again so you can pull up your waves plugins all by just this plugin here this plugin does a lot of other different stuff you can create effects change you can save your effects um to where you can have them as as uh, presets you know but it's a pretty good good plugin and you can use all of your wave plugins it also has an on and off switch here to where you can turn the plugin on and off you know you can copy a plugin if you want to copy and then you go down here to the next one and you hit paste it's going to put that same plugin right here now i have two instances of them you know you can pull up however many you want and all of your windows are going to show nicely so this is just a little plugin blue cats uh patchwork made by blue cats audio you guys can check that out. I'm going to leave a link in the video description where you guys can grab this plugin and uh, also a link to where you can look at the video on the other stuff that this plugin does. 
but it's really nice workaround just for your Waze plugins. If you have trouble um, pulling up GUIs or plugins, just load them in here first, and then you can go ahead on and use this plugin to pull up all of your uh, your Waze plugins. So that's just a little NPC tip for you guys. Hope you guys can get something from it. Please hit that like, comment, all that good stuff. Also, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys helping me out with that. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.